Yeah, so 200 in total. Oh, I'm at 63. You know, St. Gaudens or? Yeah, yeah St. Gaudens. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and 2,000 on the uh, uh, Philharmonic. Philharmonic, 2,000 pieces. Yeah. Beautiful. You're buying one of these tuckets? Yep. Wow. You have two of them, huh? Tim, two of those? Yes. So I can get one too. You can. Its content is 98.6. 98.6. Gold. And this is not intended for circulation because it's a proof. It's yeah, and it also, um, being that soft, it's, it's probably not good as a trade coin but it is a trade coin mm -hmm. um so it probably it weighs probably a little more it's it content is 11 point um 11.06 percent of a troy ounce <clears throat> okay so it's got to be probably you know maybe 12 percent of beautiful. a troy ounce in yeah weight. actually i don't have much at all in terms of foreign gold but this would probably be a good uh, item to stack. It is. It's, it's almost pure. So, yeah. and the the other thing is, if you look at the hundred Corona, that's uh, also um, ninety eight point six percent of a troy ounce. So it's got to be there's something magical about that number in Austria. I think ninety eight point six. It's a very nice coin. I think I might actually pick that up. Do you have a Corona as well? So I could take a look at or is... I have a hundred Corona. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's the white goodie box of gold. There we go. So I'm wondering how many people watching this video think foreign what's gold the, is the, the way to go. What's the date on that one? <laughs> I'm looking. It put me on the spot, Tim. I'll flip it over and see if it's on the side. Uh, you set me up, make me look silly. 1915. Yeah, 1915. So everything is dated 1915. This is like a back you know back to the future type of uh dating scenario there so that again 98.6 percent of a troy ounce of a, of a troy ounce wow do you have much demand for foreign gold uh for um sovereigns from england mm -hmm. uh 20 francs from both um france and switzerland mm -hmm. uh we don't see 20 liras as much or 20 marks as much but um the demand now for um, uh, Russian rubles is there are still a fair number of those out that the you know the communists didn't melt down, but um, yeah, they're 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 all uh, good ways to collect gold because they're not as expensive as our yeah, coins. I yeah, I was going to ask you, is that how does that compare to say like a buffalo, <coughs> which you know I'm also interested in. Oh, uh, the buffaloes have become very popular now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're 24 karat. They're made by the U.S. Mint, so and they dwarf the, these coins. This would be a cheaper alternative. Yes. Yeah. Even even a a, research, a proof like this with that, the premium is not as high on wow. any of these. The reason why I buy from Mesty Bullion is because they're the top of the line. Service is unbelievable. The prices can't be beat. I uh, love doing business with them. They have the best prices. I trust them. They're extremely easy to purchase through. They have great prices and great products. Uh, integrity and fast shipping. Just a quality organization. A good friend of mine, Yankee Stacking, is the reason why I shop there. I'm looking for pre-33 gold carded. Oh, man. Well, I got some 1915. <laughs> well, I'm looking for uh, oh, probably a few more than what you might have stacked here. You I'm know, the one who called you Monday. Yeah, yeah you know, right. I picked up a, a lot of um, gold from one of my wholesalers last mm -hmm. night. I should have mm -hmm. totally forgot about the, the call. Okay, well, I'm looking for 100 for myself. 100... Are they uh, the Gold Eagles? Uh, 333, MS63, you told me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they come from a different source. Yeah. I Actually, he might have a, a lot of those. Okay, so I'm going to get 100. Yeah. He wants 100. 200 in total, oh, MS63. You know, St. Gaudens or? Yeah, yeah St. Gaudens. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute, did you just both say 
a hundred each. Mm -hmm. MS-63. Wow. Yep. You're not messing around. Yeah, no, I'm trying for myself. <laughs> I'm also, what's your premium on your uh, silver Philharmonic one ounce? A Philharmonic, uh, I think they cost us something like 23, 50, 24, and we were selling them for 25. Oh, okay. Because, uh, uh, I was it not? Oh, yeah, all that stuff I'd have to check because the price has changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because I, I got a, I, I, I watched the, uh, um, not ITM trading with Lynette Zhang. I oh. like her. She's good. She is good. She's, she's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a big prepper, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's, she's got worried. after gold and her, <laughs> be. her shoulder there. Yes. But they, uh, oh, I can't think I of the name of them right now. You, her, but they were selling. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> She, uh, was she uh, 70 some odd? Five, she doesn't look it. She looks like about 50. That's right. Okay, so with the, the two of the 200 we ordered, what's your price going to be on that? You said something around 2000 each? Um, let me find out. Yep. So you guys came down from Maine? Well, yeah, we went to New Hampshire this morning. Yeah, we were in New Hampshire and then go across. We were working on uh, our parents' old burnt out house. What brought you to Tim's? You. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's I've been, awesome. I've been listening to you on on YouTube forever. Yeah. I noticed the gold around your neck, so you do, you wear it, you stack it. Oh, yeah. That's I've been stacking it since the early 2000s. That's when I got most of my silver when I was a lot cheaper than it is nowadays. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to get a little bit more. And matter of fact, I sent some to Christine in Germany. Did you? Because I know things are going to get kind of tight oh, yeah, them over there. Hard so. over there. Oh, that's Real true. Bad and I had that. Philharmonic silver figure over there it's more recognizable than some of the stuff that we have here so i just sent out like five tubes of that oh that's wonderful yeah. so you got european uh yeah my mother is my mother was born and brought yeah, up over there sauerkraut. yeah that runs through the veins yeah. <laughs> she come over on the boat you know literally the boat really wow yeah i can remember going to new york city picking our grandmother up off a steamer when i was a kid yeah. that's amazing yeah wow yeah. So they and it's tougher for them to stack silver over in Europe. The VAT is crazy. Well, I don't I know. To... I, I've heard other stories oh. that over there they they seem to be on the ball with stacking, but I, but uh, gold is is a little bit more uh, of a target, I think, in Europe due to the taxes, right, on yeah. silver. It could be. I'm not, yeah, I'm yeah. not up on that. I... <laughs> but so you're sending that helping her helping them out by sending yeah, some I, silver over. Well, these these two cousins are the one we've always known. Right. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably a hundred others that I don't know about because we were only in Germany once for Christmas to Couple meet times. my aunts and uncles and a few cousins. But this one, <laughs> Christina, when she was just a little kid, I had a uh, um, Z28. That's what it was with T-tops. She sat in my lap there. She just hold on the steering wheel. We went down a back road and I worked the gas and she steered and I talked to her not long ago and she said, I still remember that car. I love that car. <laughs> she said. <laughs> Yeah, so was, she, uh, you know, works in a in a school in the cafeteria there, and mm -hmm. her brother and her mother. So. so gold is now primarily your target, right? I got a running ran out of the room on the silver part, but I just wanted to get a little bit more physical it's, room. It's yeah. tough, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Well, that's why you, the gold is, you know, when you're gonna if you're gonna be putting a few extra dimes in it, you know, it's gonna take up less room, and mm -hmm. and it's not for it's just basically insurance. It's like my sister says, well, how much should I invest? And I said to her, I said, well, how much do you want to lose? Because mm. if you don't convert it to, to gold or something other than the dollar, I'm afraid that when it goes you know, in the toilet, it could be a done deal. And when you go to the CBDCs, I'm not looking forward to that at all. No, absolutely not. I don't know. That's total that's control. A that's a disaster. Because that's communism right there when you've got 100% control of your currency. And you were mentioning if anyone's looking for you know foreign I much rather keep, like I'm looking for the pre-33 American, because, right. the, the, you know, they've been selling all this gold from the mints here in, in the country, you know, mm -hmm. the, the government. Well, if you want to call that the government, I guess it would be. Um, so they're not going to, I don't think they're going to ban that or, or pull, you know, say, hey, you got to turn it in. That'll come last. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang on to okay. the pre-33s, because those are the collectible ones. Any of the other gold may not be... You know, something that might not be under their scope of, we'll say, we want it back. We got to back yeah, go, no, go, no. We got to back the dollar with something. Who's going to want to? How are they going to do that unless they go door to door? I mean, how are they going to find 
Well, let's People just say that. Technology now. I was going to say, uh, I don't know. That's phone. <laughs> the check when it goes to the bank. The banks are all, all tied together. There you, go, the there you yeah. go, Tim. There you go, Tim. Yeah, lost it, it in isn't a boating like accident. You know, when they come yeah. after your guns, I lost my guns in a boating accident. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, my safe went down with it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm afraid that if, you know when it, when, it, when it come when push comes to shove and people don't have any faith in the in the dollar or whatever they're going to call it, they're going to have to back it with something. The CBDCs or a dollar bill. If it's not backed by something, but central banks don't want to back it. That restricts them from being able to inflate it. Yeah, monopoly. Well, yeah, yeah no, they, but they they will resist. All but that. when they lose confidence in the dollar, yeah. what choice are they going to have? Who's going to want to go with them? a different colored piece of paper or something totally intangible as CBDC? I mean, you get your credit card. Everyone does, but you know. well, a lot of cases in history that. Um, I guess the current administration probably doesn't care a whit about history, no. but um, you know the Roman Empire fell when they started to mess with the currency. Um, the Weimar Republic fell when they, you know, turned it over to Hitler when they messed with the currency. Um, Zimbabwe, I mean, that's the a modern example. Mm -hmm. um, nothing can, nothing good will happen if the government decides to. Take the currency away. Nothing good will happen. No, oh, it's, it's, there's so many foolish people out there that still oh, think that. Well, they go for paper ballots across everywhere. That's not your protection, really. And that you can't hand count them. I had to. I had to drive down uh, to uh, Jersey. They didn't enjoy that, but I had to drive down, and I saw people wearing masks in their cars outside I know, crazy, alone. Isn't it? They will. I told my kids. Crazy. I said, they will always wear a mask to the day they die i think he lied to the wrong person because yeah. uh, Rand paul has said that you know, oh, we take the congress back these people are going to jail oh yeah his his line to Rand paul in front of congress was a big mistake a yeah. big mistake because Rand paul wouldn't have even challenged him if he didn't have the information in front of him yeah. so 200 we're good uh, yeah, with the, the range that was uh, posted last week, and it was up and down. It had no connection to the price of gold, from what I can tell. Mm -hmm. was uh, 2030 to 2040. Okay, that works for me. So? Yeah. Um, and I don't know which it is, but if you want to go with a higher amount, you probably get a refund. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, and 2000 on the uh, uh, Philharmonic? Philharmonics, 2,000 pieces. Yeah. Wow. Let me see if that's a, that, it might be close. Do you buy in tranches or do you just buy, boom? Well, like I said, I, I've, been, <laughs> I've been buying for many years since the early 2000s and I stopped when the price was going up. I mean, I had a lot. And I had to get rid of some for re other reasons, but you know, we all have those yeah. times in life where things will get a little tight, so. Now I'm just gonna put this away, and if and if I never use it, you know what? My kids will get it. That's the way yeah. I look at it too. Yeah. It's a generational wealth yeah. preservation. Yeah, and if material, like I said, if currency. I don't use it, then I got my two kids and grandson. Yeah, maybe one of them really happy grandson someday. But you, know, <laughs> you got to teach them. You got to teach them the value of this so that they don't end up walking into well, a coin shop going, I don't know. My, my grandson gets a quarter ounce of silver. I mean, a gold every birthday. Quarter ounce of gold every birthday. Yeah. Wow, that's there a nice go. birthday present. Yeah, oh. yes, I put him in those little plastic holders there. Good. So he has an opportunity to really learn. Yeah, but right now he's he's kind of young. You know, yeah. he, he gets in his hand here, Dad. <laughs> Where's his right. toy? But you know, eventually wait until he'll... he's in his thirties. Yeah, you may be yeah. gone. <laughs> Who yeah, knows? Well, but could but, very well be. But, but yeah, yeah I'll, I'll probably be gone. But it will mean something, I think, then yeah. much more than. And he's got now. his own safe. <laughs> Good for <laughs> yeah, him. He does too. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you know, like two foot square. You know, like some people uh -huh. have in their homes. He's got his father bought it for him. So they oh, have yeah. timeout cards. Time out. In the military. Wait a minute, in the military? I heard, something about, I that heard about that. This was a number of years ago. Some kid right out of boot camp said he got a time out card. I'm going, well, time out. Talking time about? out for what? Well, in case the DI is riding you too hard. Let's just think about it, buddy. We know, if yeah, you're in a foxhole, someone's shooting at you, you're stressed. Are you going to pull your time out card? I will shoot you.
We have a problem with somebody taking some wood. Oh my god, time out. Like your wood line, like the old days. That just totally, yeah. you know, time out card. You that doesn't speak volumes right there. You both served. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, nice when day. I was in the military, they still put, took a pillow slip and put a bar, couple of bars of silver oh, yeah. to give somebody a oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Yep, yep. They were still yeah. doing it while I was there. And I was yeah. part of it. You didn't have a timeout card? <laughs> no, I, I, I predated that. <laughs> no, but I had a lot of time in the grass. I up told, down, I told my drill sergeant when I went through base training, I said, you ain't nothing compared to my parents. Yeah, my, our parents were pretty rough. They were rough. Germans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and we went to a Catholic school too, and we had nuns, and, you know, and the brothers. So that was real rough too. <laughs> and on our lapels, it loved the discipline on your jacket, and they meant it. If the kids you know. were, you know, having a hustle, they were pushing each other around, they're fighting in the parking lot. Brothers would come out and they'd go, "Everybody, form a form a ring. Go ahead. You better not stop until yeah. I tell you to stop." Let him have it out. Okay, you just, take a couple guys. You go on. You, you can have a knockdown drag out, and then go have a beer when you're done. Well, I'm, I'm sure they were best friends when they finished this one. Well, <laughs> but that's yeah. Times have changed there. Catholic schools yeah. used to be pretty tough around here. Yeah. Yeah. You reserved well, your medals, right? Yes. Good yes. for you. As soon as I right. finish this piece of paper right here, right. see, I'm going to trade paper for real money. <laughs> <laughs> so Tim. Why well, yes. Um. What is that doing in your showcase? Oh, it's um, it's a, a Biden. Um, Wait, what? Biden token. What? Flip it over. Oh, yeah. Flip it over. It Dude, is. seriously? <laughs> so he's finally going over to the He's in Poland, and he's talking to refugees from Ukraine. Yeah. And he says... Uh, Let's see. Oh, the brave Ukrainian people are standing in front of tanks. And he goes, it's like Tiananmen Square squared. Yeah, I got it. Well, well, yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to get any. You know, I'm making well, fun of the president. You better not put that out. I don't want the FBI. <laughs> You take a guy who's made, you know, a hundred videos on YouTube, he's bashing the president. I'd say I'm an easy mark. 